Aloha! So this is just a spur of the moment video. I realized that today, sorry I'm logging into my other phone, I realized that today is no bra day, which I hadn't realized was coming up. I've known about this in the past, um, even tried celebrating once, won't go into that story. Um, but I wanted to do a little bit of history about it because especially now it's very important for me. So, no bra day. How did I get to Madonna? What the heck? I had it all set up on Wikipedia for no bra day and somehow it went over to Madonna. <laughs> okay, so no bra day started out as basically two different things. Um, in Canada, there was um, a medical event in Toronto that started out as Bra Day, B-R-A, for Breast Reconstruction Awareness Day. And um, so that was to bring awareness to uh, reconstructive surgery for breast cancer survivors. And then somewhere in the United States, of course, it changed to no bra day. Within a year, it became this no bra day where women just shed their bra to show their boobs. And um, there is, store, you know, it's not just, oh, I don't want to wear my bra. But um, let's see, the, it, the way I had originally thought of it, and this is before I had cancer, and it was, I had thought No Bra Day was more of a women's lib kind of thing to celebrate the political awareness of women that, you know, why is it men can go shirtless on a beach and women can't? Why is it men get paid more than women do? You know, to bring a women's issues to the forefront. And, um, but the fact that it actually started out as a breast cancer awareness thing um, that I did not know until this year and so um, let's see if I can find any more on it um, I'll link the Wikipedia article down below um, it started at Women's College Hospital and Toronto General Hospital in October of 2011 and um, and it was because so many women who had undergone mastectomy resisted the idea of having breast reconstructive surgery. And so they wanted to just bring awareness to that, that it was something that you could do. It, you didn't have to just live without your breast. You could have reconstructive surgery, make yourself feel better. You know, for whatever reasons you wanted or needed to have the breast reconstructive surgery, you could. And so... Um, let's see, hosted by the Canadian Cancer Society, and um, I love this, an anonymous individual using the name Anastasia Donuts. I love that name. <laughs> um, so then it goes back and talks about the, you know, in 1966 when women were supposedly burning their bras. Um, although I'm not sure that anybody actually burned their bras, but um, they did. I know at a couple of rallies they actually did take off their bras in public, um, you know, from under their clothes and wave them around. And so then um, in the U.S., they started doing No Bra Day um, just as I guess it became a part of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It was originally celebrated in the summer and I think that's why I didn't realize it was coming up so soon. I still had it in my mind that it was a summer thing and even though they only did it that one summer. <laughs> but um, the way they what they do here in Hawaii is they actually have a section of beach where people, where women go and they can go topless during that period of time, you know, like one afternoon. Um, they'll do it this afternoon at this one section of beach where it's okay to 
take off your top. And it kind of annoys me that it is a double standard that men can take off their tops and women can't, you know, it's, it, the U.S. has such, I don't know, you know, the morals here are just seem so restrictive and so backwards from European, whereas European, they're more against, like if you go to the movies, the Europeans are more against violence than they are against sex. And then here in the U.S., we're like, you know, gung-ho on violence, but you can't show sex. And then if you look at the violence statistics in the U.S. compared to in Europe, and it's all twisted. And so, I, I won't go into that. I'll save that for another channel another day. Um, but um, you can hashtag under no bra day hashtag no bra day all one word um, and which I will do you know I will uh, forward this under that hashtag and there's no official sponsorship apparently um, the unofficial no bra day is not recognized by any cancer research organization or is formally part of National Breast Cancer Awareness Month Although, yes, yeah, some critics have described the event as being purely sexual, which is how I had seen it originally, and that was a few years ago. Um, it does not raise, the event d itself does not raise money for cancer, although some groups do use it as a money-making, you know, as a fundraising thing. Um, so... Let's see, oh, apparently there is another one called Go Topless Day, in which women assert their legal right to go braless and shirtless. Okay, hmm. So I just wanted to put this out there as part of cancer awareness and breast reconstruction, if you need it. Um, you know, this is a good day to think about that. So I will link the, like I said, I'll link the Wikipedia. <laughs> I will link the Wikipedia article below. And if you have to think about this, today's a good day to do it. So until my next one, aloha, bye-bye.